In today's video, I will be showing you how to remove the fan from the AMD heatsink. I've got an AMD 3600, so if you've got a 3600, this video will definitely work for you, but any other AMD heatsink should be very similar. So, as you can see, I've got the stock heatsink on at the moment, and if you want to be able to clean the blades of the fan, or perhaps you just want to simply rotate the fan, then this is how you do it. The first thing you are going to want to do is simply undo this bit of RAM if you've got a bit of RAM that's in the way of the fan because we want to basically lift this bit of plastic here and we want to lift the AMD plastic. So I'm now going to go ahead and do that. So first things first is just remove any memory that could potentially be in the way when we are trying to do this. Okay, so once you have removed any memory that might be in the way, I am using the B450 Tomahawk Max motherboard. You can now go ahead and remove the plastic because it's actually two separate parts. You will see that in the second in the video. I'm now going to go ahead and just simply pull away at the AMD part of the plastic. So you need to kind of pull it towards yourself and then pull upwards. It can be a little bit stiff. If you can't pull this part, then you can always try from the side first. There you go. As you can see straight away, it did actually click. Okay, so if you then just pull from the other side, you will hear a little click. And there you go. As you can see, the front actually come off as well. But sometimes you do need to pull from the front as well. So you basically, you just want to pull outwards uh, from both the sides if I can get that on the camera. So from both the sides and then also from the front. If I just show you from underneath, you can see there's like little plastic clips all the way around. So we can now actually get to the fan. And you will now notice, if I just move the camera down slightly, you will notice that there are actually four screws. There's one screw here, if I just put on the light, there we go. You will actually now notice that there are four screws. So there's one screw there, there's one screw here, and one screw on the back and on the other side. You can then undo these screws and you can then rotate the fan. Or you can unplug the fan and then you can give it a good clean outside of the computer case. Once you are finished, let me just show you the casing again for the fan since I've got the torch on. So, that's obviously what the front looks like, the AMD part. And on the back, as you can see, it's got the little plastic clips. You need to make sure the AMD part, which is this part here, goes back onto these two little bits here. So as you can see, it's slightly different. That's where the AMD will clip onto. And when you do clip it back on as well, the case for the fan, make sure the cable doesn't get caught. Basically, you want the cable to go underneath the plastic. I will show you now. So if I go to put that on, like so, you need to make sure the cable is tucked and secure and safe behind the plastic. It's not going to get caught because the last thing you want to do is snap the cable or damage it. Also, when you do remove the screws, make sure you use the correct screwdriver and take your time. You don't want to ram the screws off. They are very delicate. And also when tightening them back up, make sure they are sitting in nice and flush because the last thing you want to do is to go forcing the screws in and then rounding everything off inside the heatsink. So that does bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video did help. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.